Here I go. It's calm, it looks pretty, the visibility looks good from, from up there but I've been caught out by that before and it's been shit once I've got in but fingers crossed A will have visibility and B will be able to put, pluck something out or will this just be one of them other videos where it's maximum effort, minimum reward <laughs> Another day, another attempt These are all blurring into one, these uh, little intros I'm doing I'm sort of giving up hope with them because nothing really comes of it uh, but I'm in a new location, have a little look around here and then venture out, see what we can find. So I got in the sea, the visibility wasn't great near the shore so I swam out a little bit and dived down amongst the kelp and the visibility was pretty good considering we're up north. So I was chilling on the bottom, I decided to fluff up some sand and knock a couple of rocks together just to see if I could lure in an inquisitive bass. But alas, no go. <laughs> As you can see here, the visibility is pretty good considering we're up north. We were looking at about maybe four or five meters, which um, I was more than happy with. I was, it was, I was enjoying myself. And here I was swimming across the top of the kelp and I saw a hole and I was like, let's go. And so I dived down into the hole, um, as you can see here, and it took me out to, uh, to a reef, a reef of Franklin, if you will. And I was buzzing, man. I'd spent a lot of time on this reef, just, just exploring around the rocks. And some places there were pretty deep, so it was good to practice my breath hold and and really get a good free dive out of it. I found this chap hiding in a hole, a brown crab. Soon got it out though. I didn't have anything to measure them with, but I could just see that he was just undersized. So, let him have a look, a look at the sun, pickle his head a little bit, and then sent him back on his way. See you later, mate. Mr. Fulmore coming in for a close up look. That was pretty cool. Well, it's just a lovely place to spend an evening. I had to put some graft to get this one out. Put a lot of time and effort into getting it out, um, a lot of breath holds, and then when it did bolt, I chased after it and managed to grab it. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna let it go, mate, I'm gonna let it go. Thanks for your time. Female, the carapace is just ever so slightly soft. Not massively, but enough to make me think it's shed recently, so I'm gonna let it go. Farewell mate, fare thee well. This was a real highlight for me. I was swimming through the kelp and I caught sight of a fish in my peripheral vision and had a look and it was a sea trout, which it's illegal to catch, but wonderful to see. You can see it there, it sees me, it turns. It wasn't as skittish, I mean, if, you, <laughs> if I was starving, that would have been game on. But that certainly was the cherry on the cake of a fruitless but wonderful dive. I'm out. That was a lovely dive though. I went quite far out of this bit here and found a lovely reef. Some real nice deep bits. Look at the sun going down mate. It's a nice evening. Lovely evening. Uh, yeah, found some nice deep bits. A couple of decent brown crab just under, I reckon. Um, I had a shot on a bass, but I missed it yet again. And then uh, after I'd had that shot on the bass, I was, uh, can you state me? Cut goggle marks. Uh, yeah, after I had that shot on the bass, I was just <laughs> gliding through the kelp and me, uh, my string on my band uh, popped out of the band 
I went, made a big bang. Oh, and I had a little underwater scream. I didn't know what had gone on. Such a loud noise and a vibration through my gun. You know what had gone on, sir, that was that. Um, I was in there for a good two hours. Empty handed yet again, man. This is, it's hard work, this stuff, because I'm, you know, it, I mean, I love it. I'm doing it for the love of it, but I'm also trying to get a video together as well. And it's just not happening because I aren't catching anything um, worthy of the pot or the fire. So, what can I do, man? I've just been rocking it all week. I've been, it must have been about five times. Day after day, and it's hard, man, because I don't live near the coast anymore, so the petrol money's kicking my ass. So I think this is going to be the last one. I was really hoping for a bass. I think this might be the last one. I might try over the weekend if I can muster it, but it's just kicking my ass with petrol and that, so back to camping, I think, and uh, We'll give it a few weeks before we come back and try for that Yorkshire, that elusive Yorkshire bass. Nice evening nonetheless. And I'm back again to try my luck. Yet again. But it's a lot choppier and there are waves breaking on um, on this reef out here. It looks, uh, it's not as cool as before mate. It looks a little bit more choppy so and the visibility, the visibility looks as bad as I've seen it. You can't really see much. It looks pretty bad, but I'm gonna get in and try and get out past them waves and go and dive down and see if, I, if see if it clears up a little bit. But just mainly just add this to the list of intros that haven't materialised into anything. This time might be different, though. No. You might be sticking around because. I've got a secret weapon, I'll show you. Caught out. <laughs> so just spinning off the side for bass, mackerel, pollock, anything that'll take the lure. And I'm gonna have a look out here, I think. Same story, different day. There's just no visibility up north. Classic, back to this again. It was too choppy, couldn't see my hand in front of my face, let alone the tip of my spear, and that's not a euphemism. But it's just a no go It's a shame because the gannets are diving for food just off the reef that I'd found the other day. So you can guarantee it's fishy out there, but can't see anything. So that's that. Joe didn't catch out. <laughs> there we are, look. There we go. I'm just tempted just to go to Alehouse and sack it all off. But we'll see. We'll see what the day brings. Medic! Small but worth it. Wild strawberries. <sighs> we've come, we've been hiking. We're up on Tmoors. A little bit of a, a little bit of a jaunt. Not massive, but we're away from coast anyway. Look at that beautiful sunset. Can you see? There it is. Look, beautiful. And we're just pitching up down here. We're not having a fire because it's middle of summer and we're up Moses. It's no need. Um, so we've just got a little picnic. So we're just gonna have a picnic, a little bit of red wine, and just chill out, chill out into the night. It's quite late anyway, so. 
it'll be an early one. I'm well aware that this whole video, this whole thing that I'm doing probably isn't worthy of a video in itself. We've got a little backrest there, we're having our little picnic. There's tents. And the sky is stunning. And there's La Moon. Happy days. I'll sort you through tents tomorrow, but we're just going for without flies over top. It's essentially like a bivy. Enjoying the Yorkshire sunshine with her top off, no less. I just had this, me, um, it didn't rain and it was wonderful waking up to the sun. Last sun. I had my Xtherm Neo Air and the sleeping bag was actually my Vango Synthetic. One of the first bags I ever had, I just, it was the first one that came to hand. I thought it was going to be quite close, so I just thought it's something rugged, rough and ready. But I was too hot for the sleeping bag anyway. Just packed his up, look. Nothing but grass. There he is. There he is. And we just had picnic fodder last night, half a bottle of wine, and we're good to go. I'm going to pack this skeletal tent up, and then we're going to go find some water to dunk in. You know the script. Right, we're here at this little idyllic little spot. I don't think there's much swimming to be done, but we certainly can just sit and dunk the junk. Oh, this corner than North Sea, though. No. Eee! Ian Beale, Ian Beale. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, this is, for some reason, this is very cold. I don't know what it's, because it's thin or, or what. I've done a lot of wild swimming this year, and this is like, oh, beautifully cold. Right. Oh. Oh. Get Swede under for lols. Oh. I was just saying to my friend the other day, like, oh, I miss winter. I'm, I, the water's not cold enough at my local swim spots. I can't get that, like, cold water therapy vibe. But this is it. This is back in the game. Here we are, look. Just a couple of men looking to feel better about life. <laughs> it's just bathing outside with a load of flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's flyy, isn't it? <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> right, if you strip away all the like trees and the grass and all the niceness, we were just basically in a brown body of water with loads of flies. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Times. It's a lovely little stretch, actually. Sun shining. A glorious day. Oh. Isn't it? We've had a glorious camp out. I feel, I really enjoyed it, man. Have you? Loved it, He's loved it, look. It wasn't what we were thought it was going to be. We didn't get anything from the sea because we couldn't go in. That's just how it is. We didn't do any beer reviews or chatting to the camera because that's just how it is. We did all our own chats and laughs.
together. And in fact, our new album, Chats and Laughs, <laughs> will be coming out at the end of next month. It won't really. Uh, my little uh, loomy duds, huggy jerk knuckles, respect. We do say bye to everyone. Bye for now. Bye for now. Um, and I'm going to take you to me in the future briefly because I just want to have a little chat to you. So I'll, yeah, cut to me in the future. It's me, future me. So, <laughs> uh, I've been a bit off, and I haven't been, uh, I haven't been kicking about recently because Ed's been a bit of a shed. Um, I got COVID, and there's a few other bits and pieces, but I'll explain in time. Um, this is where I am. Future me is here. Multi-day hiking, and. This, this will be the next video. A return to form, I reckon, as far as like scenery and things that I'm up to. Cause I'm in the middle of it now. Um, thanks for sticking with me. And I really do appreciate it. Um, big up Joey D. Um, that was, it was a bit of a filler. I struggled to get anything together with that video, I, I reckon. I didn't want feeling it. I just wanted to spend time with Joey D, but if you're into some, uh, I mean this next one's pretty good, if you're into that sort of thing. If you're into like hiking and just mucking about at tint mountains. Thanks as always for watching, take care of yourselves, much love, bye for now.